All right, welcome to the end of season video. This is going to go right in the beginning of whatever playoff series I decided to jump into. If you did not, did not know, um, depending on who we play in each round, um, I'll either simulate it or play it on my own or I'll record it. So let's say we match up with, if we look at the standings, let's see if we match up with the Magic or the Bulls again in round one. I'm not going to record those series because they're not going to be fun. But let's say if we matched up with, like, the Miami Heat. or Well, we can't match up with the Sixers. but Or if we match up with, like, the Wizards in the first round, I'd consider recording some of those games. But it's stuff like that. If I know it's going to be a boring series, I won't record it. Anyways, uh, end of the season. We're going to go through this quick. Award races. I'm currently number one for the MVP, and it looks like I'm going to win it. I've been number one all season, and I'm nearly averaging a triple-double on the best team in the league. Uh, rookie of the year is going to go to Mikey Williams. Actually, we'll see these all after. Uh, we just destroyed the Pelicans. We're going into our final week of the season. If you don't know, uh, in this video... I will show a comment once we get to the actual game because I don't know who's going to guess correctly of who got the guess right. If you do not know, um, for the regular season, I had something going where if you could guess our record and our seeding at the end of the season, I would put your comment in the video. So we're currently 58 and 20. I do remember vividly someone commented either 50, I mean 60 and 22 or 62 and 20, one of those. And then someone else guessed, I think, 58 and 24 so we will see simulate regular season we get to 60 wins we get to 61 wins so whoever gets those 60 wins is going to be closest and that will be right on the screen probably right now cedric lewis does win mvp he does not average a triple double though his stats stay the same as where we last saw them 29 points a game 10.1 rebounds 9.7 assists two steals and a block shooting 50 40 90 Mikey Williams is your Rookie of the Year of the Timberwolves. Jalen Suggs of the Timberwolves also is your Sixth Man of the Year. Victor Wembanyama is your Defensive Player of the Year. Asura Thompson is your Most Improved Player. Logan Schmidt of the Charlotte Hornets is your Coach of the Year. And I'm assuming this is our Executive, is the Executive of the Year. All NBA First Team sees Cedric Lewis, Luka Doncic, Giannis, Evan Mobley, and Victor Wembanyama. Uh, second team, Tyrese Halliburton, Darius Garland, LeBron James, who 19 points a game somehow made it on not great shooting splits. Uh, Cat on the Tim, I mean, on the Bucks, and Nikola Jokic, and third team, Cade Cunningham, Josh Giddy, Jason Tatum, Scotty Barnes, who had a great season, and Bam Adebayo, who is an all star starter this year. All defensive first team, Cedric Lewis, Bronny James, Evan Mobley, Giannis Victor, Mark Will, I'm Robert Williams, I'm sorry. Matthias Buzelis makes an all-defensive team. LeBron James, Alonzo Ball, and Amen Thompson, all-rookie first team. This is what it's looking like, and apparently only one player made the second team. Looking at the playoffs right now, the Heat ended up being the five seed. They went 46-36. and 36. We will either be taking on the Pacers, Hawks, or Wizards, or Magic. So out of all these teams, unless we face the Wizards, I will simulate that first round and if we if the six was make it to the second round even maybe the heat i also will not be playing that series because we've already faced the sixers before so most likely we could have a rematch in that conference final so next the series you're probably going to be seeing now is going to be the conference final so if we simulate the play in we get the hawks in round one which i will not how did the hawks make the playoffs they're supposed to be rebuilding they they traded DeJounte Murray and they ended up making the playoffs. Trading DeJounte Murray and Trey Young and they make the playoffs somehow from the play. And as the 10th seed, they get the 8th seed. The Wizards got 7 and the Magic get knocked out. And the Suns made it. They dropped all the way to 7. They were a top 5 seed. Same thing with the Warriors. They fall out and then the Warriors also make it. So the Lakers fell out. The Lakers weren't even in the play and the Mavericks overtook them, I just noticed. In the play and any other teams, I was surprised. No, the Lakers are the only team end of the season on a four game losing streak. That's tragic. Anyways, I'll see you all when with future me. Wow, the, the Thunder ended up taking the first seed, they were the fourth seed for most of the season. The Spurs fell all the way down to four. Interesting. Uh, I'll see future me with the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. All right, post bank here. We are here in a four point game currently down by four here in game three of the nba conference finals uh cedric lewis pump fakes it there has sabonis kicks it out to eight and he misses gets his own rebound and yams it 
on Jalen Duran. Uh, Aiton had 18 points there. Down by two now. Cedric Lewis is going to miss the rebound. Duran is going to put it right back up to extend the lead to four. Lamella Ball with the ball now. Kicks it out. Cedric is going to knock down the three. Cuts it to one possession. A little under four minutes left. Cade Cunningham knocks that one down. Brings the lead back up to six for the Detroit Pistons. Lamella Ball is going to bring it up the court for the Hornets. He's going to dribble, 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 dribble. Cedric Lewis is going to get the ball at the top of the key. Calling for a screen from DeAndre Ayton. And he is going to give it up. No, he has a wide open shot. Decides not to take it. Contested. He's going to have to give this ball up. He's going to give it up to Ayton in the paint. And he's going to knock down the layup on the smaller defender. Four point game. Jaden Ivey loses. Cedric Lewis and knocks down the mid range shot. Later up the court, Cedric Lewis wide open from downtown. Knocks it down to um, cut the lead to three. So bonus is going to cut it to one point. The Pistons are in trouble now. One point game. So bonus gets the steal. Down by one. Lewis down the court. Kicks it to LaMelo. Tenth assist of the night. The Hornets now have the lead. Jalen Duran is going to miss that. And Cedric Lewis is going to get once again another triple double. Kicks it to Aiton. And he is going to miss a crucial layup to give the Hornets a two possession lead. Cade Cunningham gets left open on the perimeter. In the paint. Jaden Ivey gets left open and lobs it. Up to Jalen Duren. Now Hornets currently up by one point. 27 seconds remaining. Cade Cunningham step back. Dribble move on Aaron Gordon. Pulls up contested mid-range and knocks it down. The Hornets need a timeout. 13 seconds left. Cedric Lewis is going to commit a charge on the play. Down by one. You're going to need an inbound steal or you're going to have to foul one or the other. Cedric Lewis going for the inbound steal. He is going to not get it, and he's going to have to pick up his fourth foul of the game. Down by three, 12 seconds left. They're going to inbound it to Lewis. He's going to cut, step back, cannot get enough space. Calls for the screen. It's off. Cedric needs another screen. Three seconds left. He's going to pull up. Bang! Cedric Lewis sends it to OT with his first ever game winner in the playoffs. And the Pistons are heartbroken. They were that close to getting the series 2-1. to one. Cedric's going to start overtime with a post fade and knocks it down. The Hornets looking to rip out the hearts of the Pistons in this series as Kate Cunningham hits a tough loader. They get it all tied back up. Hornets looking for that 3-0 series lead. And Cedric's going to put the fade. And it's the mellow ball. Gets the layup to go. Gives him a two-point lead. Hornets up by two. Sabonis gets a rebound. Jaden Ivey misses a huge shot. There is still plenty of time, though. But Cedric possibly gets away with an offensive foul there. But cuts it. Not cuts it. Extends it to four. Up by two. Cedric is going to turn it over. The Pistons have a chance as Cedric picks up his fifth foul. They have a chance to tie it. Cade Cunningham to the paint gets it to go. The Pistons have once again tied up this game. But we've seen this song and dance before. And Cedric Lewis has had an answer. Cutting to the paint. Does that same spin. Nearly loses it. Puts it back up. Some bonuses there. And puts it up. Hornets up by two. 16 seconds left. They're going to give it to Cade. Cunningham gets a good look, but misses. And that is going to do it. The Hornets are going to take a commanding 3 to nothing lead in this Eastern Conference Finals as the Pistons lose in heartbreaking fashion. Final box score, Durant had 28, Cunningham had 27, and all-around great effort. Lewis had a 41-point triple-double. LaMelo with 20 and 13, Aiton with 20 and 9. Sabonis had 18 and 14, and Gordon with 19. That's going to be it for me. GG.